students welcome you to this video we are studying partial fractions you know in previous video i taught the basics of partial fractions there are three types and the first type i explained rational expressions so you know there are two types one is proper another one is improper so rational expression of proper we are studying now so first type we studied what is first type suppose the question is x plus 12 divided by x plus 1 into x minus 2. Suppose this is the question. You know, this is of the first type partial fraction because denominator factorizable, already it is factorized, and both degree 1. There is no square, no cube, right? So this is first type. We already we studied this. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you with the second type. What is second type, you know? Some power will be there. Suppose, for example, for the first one, first factor, x plus 1, the whole square, or x minus 2, the whole square, or some cube. So this is the second type. So how to write this, you know? For the square, you write two terms. So you write a by, the square is with that x plus 1, right? x plus 1 square. So first you write a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 1 square. If it is cube, you write three terms for that, right? So plus one more term is there. For that, you write c by x minus 2. So this is your answer. So now you have to find the values of what? a, b, c and substitute. So for that, left side you write as it is. So x plus 12 by x plus 1, the whole square, into x minus 2. Right side you take LCM. It is x plus 1, the whole square, into x minus 2. So what do you get here? A into, one time x plus 1 is there, so another x plus 1 into x minus 2. Plus b into, x plus 1 square is there. What is missing? That x minus 2. Plus c into, x minus 2 is there, so what is missing? x plus 1 square. So now in both the sides, you can cancel the denominators. So what you're getting now? x plus 12 is equal to a into x plus 1 into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 2 plus c into x plus 1 square. So now we substitute the values one by one and try to find the values of a, b, c. So first what I'm going to do, so x plus 1 is a factor, right? To make that x plus 1, 0, it is in two places. So you put x equal to minus 1. So put x equal to minus 1. When you put x equal to minus 1, left side you give minus 1. So minus 1 plus 12, it is what? 11. First term will be 0 because when you give minus 1, x plus 1, that becomes 0. So totally first term 0, last term also 0. Only the second term you are going to get. When you put x equal to minus 1, uh, minus 1 minus 3, it is minus 3, right? So you are getting minus 3b. So 3b is minus 11 or b equal to minus 11 by 3. So b equal to minus 11 by 3. Okay, so that is one value. Now, there is another factor. What is another factor? x minus 2. Now, we make that x minus 2 0. So for that, you put x equal to 2. So put x equal to 2. When you put x equal to 2, 2 plus 12, it is what? 14. When you give 2, the first term and second term become 0. So when you, and the last one, when you give 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 square, it is 9. So you are getting 9C. So you are getting C equal to 14 by 9. Still one more letter, right? So B and C, got it? We had to find A. No other factor is there. Now you can do the sum in two ways. One, you can substitute any value for X. For example, you put X equal 0. You may get, a value, you may get the answer for A. If not, you put x equal to 1, some, some, some substitution you can give, you will get an equation in A, B, C. Already you know B and C can find A. That is one method. Another method, equating the highest coefficient, highest power. Equating the coefficients of highest power. See, the highest power is x square, right? Left side there is no x square, right side the highest power is x square. So what I'm going to do, equating the coefficients of x square. Equating the coefficients of x square on both sides. Left side, there is no x square, right? So in this equation, I'm taking, if you want to take it as equation number two, 
in equation number 2. In the left side, there is no x square. Only x plus 12 is there, right? So x square coefficient is 0. The right side, here x into x, it is x square. Also, we have a. So it is a x square, right? So the coefficient will be a. And the second one, there is no x square. b into x, only bx. But the last one here, uh, when you square x plus 1, the whole square, when you expand, the first term will be x square. Outside c is there. So the coefficient of x square is c. So you are getting a plus c equal to 0. We want a value, so a equal to minus c. That is a equal to minus c value 14 by 9. All the three values, you got it. You got a value, you got b value, and c value. All the three values, you substitute in the first equation number 1. So you put all these in the first equation, so the answer is a value minus 14 by 9. So a value, instead of a, you put minus 14 by 9. So minus 14 by 9. So minus 14 by 9. In the denominator, what do you have? x plus 1, right? x plus 1. Plus b. b value minus 11 by 3. That 3 you write in the denominator. b by x plus 1 square. x plus 1 square. Then plus c by, what is c value? 14 by 9. 14 by 9. 14 you write in the numerator, denominator you write like this, into what? x minus 2. Okay, so this is your final answer. After finding a, b, c, you substitute in the first equation. Now, same type, I'm going to take another question. Look at this question. x plus 1 by x square into x minus 1. It is the first type or second type? Square is their whole square, so this is of the second type. So you can write it as x square. For that, you write two terms. So you write a by x plus b by x square plus c by x minus 1. Either you take LCM on both sides or you multiply every term by this denominator. What is this denominator? x square into x minus 1. You multiply every term by x square into x minus 1. Actually, that will be happening here. Okay. So for your convenience, I'm taking LCM and cancel. So it will be easy for you. x plus 1 by x square into x minus 1 is equal to, here also you take LCM, what's LCM? x square into x minus 1. So you will get only one x is there. So a into, what is missing here? 1 x and that x minus 1. Plus b, denominator you have x square. So what is missing? x minus 1, right? So b into x minus 1. Plus c into, c into x minus 1 we have, what is missing? x square. Right? So you can cancel both the denominators, you cancel. So what you're getting now? x plus 1 equal to ax into x minus 1 plus b into x minus 1 plus cx square. Now to find that abc, you make 1 by 1 0. So first you have, there is a factor x, right? You can make that x 0. How can you make x 0? Put x equal to 0. So put x equal to 0. When you put x equal to 0, the left side becomes x is 0. So you are getting 1. When you put x equals 0, the first term 0, because x into something is there, no? so that will be 0. Last time also 0, x square, 0, square, 0. Only the second one, for x, when you give 0, you will get only minus 1 into b. So it is minus b. Change the sign, so b equal to minus 1, right? So one value got it. Any other factor? Yes, there is one more factor, that x minus 1. You can make that x minus 1, 0. For that, what substitution you give? Put x equal to 1. Yes, when you put x equal to 1, see what happened to the left side when you put x equal to 1? 1 plus 1, 2 equal to. When you put x equal to 1, the first term and second term become 0. Only the last one. x is 1, so 1 square is 1 into c, it is c. So you are getting c is equal to 2. Two values, you got it. No other factor here. So what we do, like previous question, equating the highest power, equating the coefficients of x square here also. Equating the coefficients of x square. Again, in the left side, there is no x square term. So you put 0. Right side, see, x into x is x square. Outside, you have a. So the coefficient of x square is a. In the second term, there is no x square. There is no x square at all. But in the third one, c x square coefficient is c. So we want a value, so a equal to minus c, that is a equal to minus 2. So all the three values you got it, you substitute in the first equation, you will get the answer. So a value minus 2, so minus 2 by, right, a by, so what is that, x, plus b by, b value minus 1 by x square, minus 1 by x square, plus c by, c value 2, 
2 by x minus 1. Okay. So I think I will teach you just one more question of the same type. See the third one. Suppose the question is x by x minus 1, the whole cube, that's all. This is also of the second type only because the whole cube is there, right? No other term. If there is one more term, you can write d by, that's all. Since cube is there, for this you write three terms. So what do you write? a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 square plus c by x minus 1 cube. Suppose with that there is one more linear factor, you write plus d by that also, okay? So now listen, like previous question, you take LCM in the right side, everywhere x minus 1, highest power you take, x minus 1, the whole cube is the LCM, right? x minus 1, the whole cube, it is x minus 1, the whole cube. So when you take x minus on the whole cube, the first one a into, what is missing? x minus 1 square is missing, right? So you a into x minus 1 square plus b into, so what is missing there? One time x minus 1, right? x minus 1 plus last one c only because denominator already we have x minus 1 cube. Both the denominators get cancelled. So you are getting x equal to a into x minus 1 square plus b into x minus 1 plus c. Now listen, it's an interesting one. Listen, there is only one factor. What's that factor? X minus 1. Make that 0. How can you make X minus 1 0? Put X is equal to 1, right? So when you put X equal to 1, see what happens? 0, so 1 equal to, first term, second term, 0, you are getting C equal to 1. No other factor is here. The previous sums and all, two values you got it, only for the third one we equated the highest power. Since we have... Uh, only one value. We had to find another two more. So, what I'm telling, equating the highest power and the lowest power. Highest power, okay, here it is. Yes, here also x square only. Equate the coefficient of x square. And the lowest power, lowest power is the constant. Equating constant term on both sides. Suppose if you're not getting the value, no other way, use, give some substitution. Put x equal to 0 or put x equal to 1 and you find some relation and you can do that, okay? So, here I'm equating the coefficients of x square, equating the coefficients of x square and constants, x square and constants. So see what you get here, e coefficient of x square. Left side there is no x square here also, zero. Here you have x square. When you square it, right, the whole square, you will get x square. Coefficient is a. The right side there is no x square at all. Then the second term and third term there is no x square. So you are getting a equal to zero. So C equal to 1, A equal 0, you got it. Now equate the constants. Left side there is no constant, only X is there. So constant term is 0. Right side, please listen, that X minus 1, the whole square. What's the constant term there? A square minus 2AB plus B square. B square means that 1 square. It is 1, right? Outside A, 1 into A, it is A. The second one is minus 1 into B. Minus 1 into B, so minus B. And plus C is also there. Substitute the known value, C equal to A value, 0. Minus B value, we don't know. That's what we want. Plus C value, 1. Bring that minus B to the left side. So B is equal to 1. So now we've got all the values. Substitute the first equation. So the answer is, first term is A. A value, 0. So 0 by, so first one you don't need to write, right? Because A value is what? 0. 0 by anything is 0. Only B by x minus 1 square. B value 1. So you can write 1 by x minus 1 square plus C. C value also 1 by x minus 1, the whole cube. Hope you understood the second type. And the third type I will teach you in the next video.